Put you in the long in the cabin, cabin, somewhere in Aspen. Girl, ain't nothing to the pain, ain't tricking. If you got it, what you asking for? Put you in the mansion, somewhere in Wisconsin. Like I said, ain't nothing to the pain. We can change the last name, what's happening? Cause you look so good. So, I'm about to go get my hair done. The hair stores here went, no. Moi uh, ne pas. I, I don't know if I said that right. I don't think I did. But either way, I don't like it. Um, it's so expensive. Only because like they sell nothing but professional products in really big quantities. Or not really big quantities, but like... The sizes are pretty big, so it's too much for me. And I don't, I, I want something super small that I can. Ooh, I like your outfit. <laughs> it looks so cute. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm not spending nine bucks on oil. That's like, no, that's just not what we're doing. So, I took everything back this morning um, after class because last night when I was leaving dinner, I found a barber that can not only bleach but cut my hair for 30 euros so i'm excited to see i have hope because i saw a girl she was in there too and if she would have went up if she would have bleached her hair one more time it would have been the color that i usually bleach my hair so i'm like all right so we're gonna do it in sessions today's my first session and tomorrow's gonna be my second session so i'm about to go in this bit wish me luck Okay, so for all of you who may not know, my haircut is originally a white color and I usually get a fade uh, and designs when I get my haircut. So this is the powder that they used over in Paris. It was called Ultralight. I'm 100% sure they do not sell this in the US only because um, the concentration and the different ingredients within their products is so much more stronger than um, the one in America or the ones in America. So, you know, you kind of have to have a certain license to purchase these items, which is something that I learned from being in Paris and from my sister who is in cosmetology school. But either way, so with the bleach, he used 40 developer. Uh, and this really helped with the dyeing process of my hair because my hair is curly and it's thick so it takes some time for it to actually dye or bleach I should say uh, and with this process as you can see him even wrapping the plaster wrapper on my head sped up the process so this is similar to in the US you know when you put this on your head but this particular product that he used really 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 lifted my hair in a very reasonable time uh and i was so grateful for that okay so i had to step out there out, out there i can't even talk outside um but i'm almost listening this is the first process i really love this salon like versus salons and barbershops in america like everything in america has to be like prestige like I remember like wanting to go to a barbershop because like the chairs were cute or like they had art on the wall like I literally looked for like places to go that was kind of similar like that and here like the paint chipping off like they don't have the best you know chairs and but everybody's getting a bag I love it like you have people over here cutting hair people over here doing nails in the back washing hair and it's so in this it's so compact i wish i can like videotape it but i don't like invading people's culture like that and I, i'm just sitting there watching everybody like i'm just like this i bet people are like why does this girl keep staring at me but everybody is just literally doing their thing and it's so beautiful but this guy just got out the chair so i'm about to go back in and get my hair washed and i'll be back soon so he basically just scraped the 
bleach out of my hair it was starting to puff up so that's how you know that the bleach is done working and he decided to just scrape it out of my hair and we went in with this shampoo that I found with in Paris and it's called keratin uh, I always try to go towards a very deep purple I know a lot of people like to do the light but I know I like to do the deep purple shampoo so this is the second application of the bleach as you can see my hair is already white some yellow shades is still on there but that's okay because after he goes in with this it really lifts it even more to the point where all the yellow was canceled out and all you can see was the white left so that really turned out really well and I completely loved it so I went for another walk as y'all can see it's coming together like it's, listen I'm feeling like myself even though it's burning I don't care. I don't be caring. I don't be caring because I know pain, no pain, no game. And beauty is pain. So, um, this is the third one. So after this, we're gonna wash it. Um, and yeah. So while I waited, I just went across the street and picked up a magazine by the name of Jalous, which is a Paris-based fashion publication. And I love this particular publication due to the fact that everything was in French. So it gave me a chance to learn some industry terms in a whole different language. Oh, and by the way, these YSO heels, let me tell y'all ladies, I went to the store to try them on after I seen them. And ladies, these shoes are comfortable, okay? So I know a lot of my ladies who like to get their hair dyed do not like to do a lot of processes in one day. But with this particular product that they have over in Paris, I did a total of three processes in one day. So I didn't even have to come back for my second session. And as you can see, like it lifted my hair and did not damage my hair at all, ladies, at all. Each process lasted about an hour. Um, I tried to push it to an hour and a half because I like the burn, I don't know, call me crazy, whatever, but I like for my hair to be, when I tell you Elsa, let it snow, like, can I build a snowman type vibes, that's really the way that I like my hair. So I don't mind staying later and making sure that my hair hits. So my barber Don, I'm gonna link him and the shop's information down below. We were able to develop a amazing relationship to the point where I will show him a design and I'll stretch his creativity and he'll create it because people in Paris don't really get designs in their head. They just get a quick little shape up, little fade and they go about their business. But the fact that we were able to collaborate and work together to really create something dope was amazing. It was simply, simply amazing. I just love the way that I was able to immerse within the Nigerian and Parisian lifestyle because everyone at the shop was Nigerian and they welcomed me with open arms to the point where my second time I came to the shop, they had me eating jollof rice with my hands in the corner. Like, <laughs> y'all, let me tell you, let me, like, Y'all don't understand how long, and my waist gonna start coming in too, bruh. Like, y'all don't understand how long I've been wanting, I've been feeling so just not myself. Cause I don't look like myself. And now, I'm back. So, anything you thought you knew, if you thought you knew me yesterday, you don't. This evolution is daily, monthly, hourly, millisecondly. Don't play yourself. Cause I'm back. I tried to link. It's just not gonna happen. But I look beautiful. I feel beautiful. <sighs> Listen, three and a half hours in the in the shop. It was worth it. It was worth it. So when you're when you're in Paris, when you're in Paris, I'm gonna link everything 
down below and if you have some questions <laughs> let me know okay but yeah. thank you guys so much for watching and returning back to my channel do not forget to like share and subscribe and hit that bell because you will be notified every single time i upload anything and don't forget to catch episode five next saturday see you then